Welcome back for once again a special this time fast forward and rewind where we look back at the past and ahead to the future. This week we got MVPs in the house. Frisco Wakelands, Mark Barbonis, sophomore MVP, the state tournament. And on the ladies side, we got Peyton Adams, junior MVP. You see that associated with your name, what do you think about that, Peyton? Um, I think it's a really good and like, it's an honor, honestly, to be called the MVP of the state. And I love it, but at the same time, it was a team effort. It wasn't just me on the field. How's it feel the fact that that was like y'all goal? Like I um, talked to um, Gracie a couple weeks ago. All she was talking about was mm -hmm. beating Holland Park and hosting that trophy for everybody. How's it feel to do all that all at once? Magical ride. Um, it feels like a dream, honestly. Like I would have never guessed this in a million years that we would have won state. And like our goal was hashtag four two one, as you knew. But like, it just feels so real that like we actually came through and we worked our butts off all year, and it just shows that like hard work does pay off in the end. And Mark, you have an interesting journey. Give some insight. So what's this between this year and last year? Tell people about your journey. Okay, yes. Yeah, so last year I played on the junior JV squad and I just helped them fit, record the games just like beginning of the season coach needed somebody to record the game and say I'll do it because I wanted to watch them play for the upcoming years. And then I did that and I wasn't expecting us to go to state and we did it <laughs> and I got a medal. But I did not get a ring because I wanted to earn my own, and we did it this year. So you got your ring with your name on it this year? Yes, sir. <laughs> the dude, your friends joke, hey, man, you went from zero to hero. <laughs> <laughs> no, we actually talked about our in our team dinner after one state. We read the article that says I was the manager, and then they were like, wow, that's such a cool story. You can make a movie out of it. Would you only be a sophomore? Do you visualize, like, do you feel like next year you're going to have a target? Like, you went from being the hunted to the yeah. hunter next year. Yeah, so it's just, it puts pressure on our back, like, to come back every year stronger than we were before. And then, yeah. And Peyton, on the girls' side, y'all got y'all gonna have a new coach and everything. How's it feel to see Coach Koroff one last time with that W? It feels amazing just to see him, like, go out and, like, go so strong and like he's worked his butt off and he, he's always been behind us like trying to push us to be better players and better team and it just shows that all his hard work's paid off and that he deserves this like he is always there for us and it's just amazing are you gonna miss that those 8 a.m crazy practices like I, I i've been to a lot of practices y'all practices are intense it's yeah. 8 a.m it's like man i get a sweat just watching <laughs> yes i am gonna miss it like it's gonna be a nice break for sure i'll get to sleep in a little bit but i'm gonna miss it a lot like those intense practices i'll never forget them like just how much we did just to show that we could win state. So what's going through your mind during, during the shootout and all that craziness? That have to be something you'll, you'll tell your kids about. So, yeah. so, so give some insight to your mindset from when you did your kick to when y'all got that last save. Especially it was a double save, mm -hmm. which is crazy on top of that. Mm -hmm. um, well, I believe in McKenzie so much. Like, I we're really close just because I'm back line and I'm always with her and everything. But, like, I just was, like, I don't know, for some reason I didn't feel as nervous as I have before, like in the Highland Park game, like I kind of felt relief. Like I was like, I just know like this is gonna work out all in the end. And like my shot, like I knew I took a PK in um, overtime and I, or the goalie blocked it and then I put it in or whatever. But I knew that I would have to go to a different side. I knew she'd know my side. And so I, I decided to wait and kind of see where she moved. And so I took it there. and. Other than that, like, I trusted in my teammates. Like, we work on PKs, like, every day after practice and everything. Oh, so, mm -hmm, we it's work on them. It is. How, how much did the Highland Park game give you out of confidence? Like, we did – we beat basically people think the best team in the nation. Mm -hmm. Like, that team was good. But did that have y'all – that extra swag that y'all needed to get the job done? Yeah, it did. Um, honestly, like, it was another game that we had to get past. But it was something that had been in our back of our minds, like, all year because we lost to them um, my sophomore year. And it was just heartbreaking to see that we could have gone farther that year but like we knew we had to beat them to go to state and that was just another opponent we had to face. And this is a joint question for both of y'all. How does it feel the fact that y'all put Wakeland on the map doing something that hadn't done since 1985? Y'all weren't even born last time this has been done. That's how surreal that is. I'll start with you Mark. It's something I'm going to remember like forever. It's history that we make and of course awesome to do that. And for you Peyton? It's going to be crazy. I'll never been amazing all the team dinners we've had with the guys and we've been so close this year like it just shows that we're like a true like team together and we're not just two separate teams guys and girls like we're always together and then just to win together that's amazing talk about being around that, that senior what you learn for those seniors they walk out as two-time champions 
is kind of like the standard for this program. Like, they're going to be talking about these dudes 15 oh, yeah. years from now. Yeah, no, so the seniors, they were, of course, like our leaders on the field. Like, before every game, they would make sure everybody was focused and everything. And then I'm going to remember them forever, and they, like, had a huge impact on me. But in the upcoming years, I'm the one that's going to have to do that to the underclassmen. And give us some insight to that 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 bus trip, trip home we were talking about. So you just get on the bus and just stroll back to Frisco. Like, how how was that bus ride going back home? Okay, so we stopped at Texas Roadhouse for some dinner. We had some steaks, and then after that, we just all chilling, listening to some loud music, and then just enjoying the moment, the last moments with the seniors too. Was it cool the fact that y'all had to go to school yesterday? So y'all y'all kind of got that day to <laughs> detox. <laughs> yeah, we had a long weekend. It was nice. It was really nice to just go out on that and be able to like relax. So how much time do y'all take off? Hey, we got fire alarm. Y'all 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 so y'all setting off the alarms up in here. <laughs> So how much do y'all detox this and then kind of focus on, do y'all go straight into select or do y'all just kind of like suck this in like, hey, I'm a champion? Um, I mean, I have club going on like as well right now. Like I have games on the weekends and practices like tonight and stuff, but I'll go to those like as I always do. But like um, as for like school, we'll get like two weeks off for like a break just to like kind of recruit, recoup and everything, which is nice. And for you? Yeah, my club is still going on also, but my coach, he supported me going to state because it was like a once-in-a-lifetime thing. And then, in fact, the day after one state, I had an 8 a.m. game, so I had to wake up at like 6.45. How's, but, it, how's it feel to play with somebody, Coach Ho? He's a good dude. Two champions in yeah, two years. Yeah, <laughs> Coach Ho, he's just one of the best coaches. I mean, two years at Wakeland, two state championships. He just puts like the team together and he makes sure we're all focused and everything. We do the right things in practice. And do you have a, a message for Wolverine Nation? That's like gave you all the support. Um, I just want to thank them all for coming out. Like it was, it was a lot of help. Like having y'all in the student section and cheering us on. Like that was just amazing just to see y'all out there. Like I know it's like hard during like our um, district games to come out there and support, but like it's amazing to see y'all out there. The fact that all our Wolverines were out there, it was like amazing. Like every time I scored, I, just, I made a heart for them because they were all out there for us. And I like that motivated me to do better because I didn't want to walk out the field as a loser since they were all watching us. <laughs> I don't think them like gonna think yeah. y'all so losers <laughs> after that. Yeah, so it was good that they were there. Kicking it with at Frisco Wakeland with two MVPs, two state champions, winners, not losers. Back to y'all, Kendrick Johnson.